have already got one question here which is in a google form right now i will just demonstrate here how you can make a better question here where you will be following likert scale right and invariably in all questionnaires you should follow wherever is possible likert scale okay so say for example somebody is uh, working on a topic like this a study on investors perception towards algorithmic trading okay so this is the top for which suppose someone is collecting data using questionnaire right now few basic things you can just mention name email id then other things like occupation uh, age right educational background right few basic things i am not talking about uh, those things those are very simple things we can one thing that you have to keep in mind you have to try and avoid questions for which answer can be given in yes or no okay this is one thing you have to keep in mind because for this type of question these are called dichotomous questions this kind of questions likert scale cannot be used right but for some questions you cannot avoid dichotomy that means you have to give few questions of that sort but majority of your questions should be based on likert scale say so here uh, first question says do you use algorithmic to trade so this is fine you can give this kind of question yes or no fine but the second question again what are the most preferred algorithmic uh, algorithmic for trading in india i think it should be what are the most preferred algorithmic platforms for trading in india right so this is also fine you can give it like this here you cannot apply likert scale now this question look at this question very carefully is any type of technological skill required to use algorithmic trading or algorithmic trading or algorithm trading or algo trading in simple words now i can convert this question into a statement and then i give options like agree strongly agree agree neutral that is neither agree nor disagree then disagree then strongly disagree i don't know how many of you are aware of likert scale if you know about likert scale then you must be aware of these things right so say for example let me just show it to you how i can just convert this question into a likert scale format right so here the question is is any type of technological skill required to use algo trading right so what we can do instead of putting that question like this i can put the question in this way technological skill is a must for succeeding in algo trading right then i give the options like this strongly agree agree neutral disagree strongly disagree fine so same question without changing the meaning i have just rephrased the question into a statement and then i have given the options in this manner this is how the likert scale is developed right now let us go to the next question say here it is saying the next question will algorithmic automation help to overcome the emotional shortcoming in trading again it is yes or no but i don't want yes or no type question i can easily convert this into a statement in this way say for example what i have done for this question algorithm automation algorithm automation helps in overcoming the emotional shortcoming in trading this is a statement then you give these options strongly agree agree neutral disagree strongly disagree right so this is how we can convert a question which is dichotomous in nature that means whose answer can be given in yes or no into a statement and then we can give these scales as suggested by likert right now why is this important this is important 
because if you want to do factor analysis after collecting your data using uh, this online survey then for factor analysis purpose questions whose answer is in yes or no is not suitable right for that particular purpose you need to have questions in this statement form where you can apply likert scale that's the reason why you need to convert these dichotomous questions into statement form wherever possible okay